Californication. One, two, one, two, three, four. Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, as played in the uh, Rock School Hot Rock Grade 2 book. Um, I'm going to give you a, a quick little lesson. This certainly isn't meant to be a thorough going over of every single note, just a quick little lesson on some of the little trouble spots I found with students. Um, the first one um, with the opening riff. I suppose it's the choice of fingers for the F chord. Earlier I was playing with my little finger on that C note. I just found it more comfortable, especially when I'm sitting like this. If I was sitting with a more strictly classical sort of hand, I would do one, three. But for now, I mean, whatever finger you want, as so long as it works. Then this next little section is surprisingly difficult. When you look at it on the page, it doesn't look particularly bad, but a lot of people have difficulty with it, especially up to speed. I suppose the problem is that uh, it isn't a, a repeated picking pattern that you might expect. There, it's um, strings over the C chord, it's 5, 4, 3, 4. Then when you go to the G shape, it's 6, 5, 3, 4. Then a more regular on the F chord, 4, 3, 2, 3. For a lot of people, I think it's it's the picking hand that causes the difficulty there. You also you do have to move very quickly from chord shape to chord shape, and then very quickly to the G, and especially here, very quickly to the F. I would use fingers three and two, bring them down three and two for the G, then bring them up two strings to form part of the F chord. Also find, I usually play D minor with finger three, but there I'm going to use finger four, just find it more comfortable. But yeah, these two fingers keep everything together for you. Uh, yeah, there's not so much jumping around. Then the chords, um, again, gives people a surprising amount of difficulty. Um, the rhythm on the A minor chord is one and a two and a three and four. And a. Uh, if I don't talk over the top of it, it's When you get to hang that, it is really quite straightforward and quite natural. The F major seventh chord, uh, a lot easier. It's a repeated figure then. A one and a two and a three and a four and a. So just watch out for the difference. The, the strumming pattern for the A minor chord is ever so slightly different from the strumming pattern for the F major seventh chord. Back to A minor, exactly the same. Rhythmically, the F major seven then is exactly the same, but it's a, a five string version of F major seven. I'm not sure how important that is really, but um, it does change ever so slightly there. And just watch out for the two quavers at the very end. Uh, then the next little chord section, um, 
Sorry, I should mention quick, uh, very quickly the strum on pattern, like I say, over the A minors, and the the strum on pattern is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, and over F major seven, it's simply down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. Then when you get into the the chords, uh, C, G, D minor, etc., you're then in crotchets and quavers and I would simply strum everything with a down stroke. So down, 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 down. Bear in mind we were strumming in semi quavers earlier, so that's why we were doing down up. But there I think you can get away with just all down strokes really. Then a solo, um not particularly hard. I suppose rhythmically there are some issues, but um Play here in ninth position, so finger two on fret ten, these finger one free for the ninth fret of the first string, and finger three falls very neatly onto the third string, eleventh fret for the bend. Then again, ever so slightly different rhythmically. Then you stay in ninth position. That was fingers three, 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 pull off the one, three, three. One, three, one, and bend up a three, and slide that ninth fret down. But there you go, it's entirely in ninth position. Finger one for fret nine, two for fret ten, and finger three for fret eleven. You might see some thirteens in brackets, but of course I hope you know, your teacher will point it out Yeah, I hope that you're bending up to thirteen, you're not actually... Uh, or sorry, 12 I should say, but, oh no, 13. Um, you're bending up to the sound of 13. You're not actually moving to it, so everything can be played in ninth position across these three frets. And you're simply back on. So that piece, there are quite a few spaces in it. So the one thing I think you should really look out for is, during those spaces you're very aware of what you should be counting and listening to the back and track. Um, other pieces, maybe in grade one, it's the pieces continuous quavers and therefore relatively straightforward to synchronize. But there are more gaps here, uh, more uh, beats where you're not playing anything. And you need, you need to be very aware of what's happening there if you want to stay synchronized to the backing track and get your entries right when you come back in. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. My name is Brian Keenan. Uh, if you're interested in lessons, you can find me on the Lisburn Road in Belfast. And you should check out on my other videos on YouTube. All the best.